sure, drones are fun, but they can also save your life faster than traditional rescue crews. Look at this, when flooding hit parts of China, it was the drones that brought life preservers to stranded people, and the drones got there long before rescue boats arrived. Then there's this elderly woman with dementia who walked away from her North Carolina home. It might have taken police hours to search for her in the fields if they had to walk each one, but the drone helped in minutes. Cameras that are mounted on these drones have incredible zoom. But a camera is just part of what the drone can carry. That allows you to hook in a medical kit, a radio, food, water, ammunition to provide life-sustaining equipment. Arion Defense sends its drones into the battlefield. But when your company looks ahead a decade, what do you see? This is just the beginning. Everything we do is about taking the load off the end user and replacing human function tasks on the battlefield with a robot. This could help save someone's life. Absolutely it will. Back in the U.S., a drone found these lost inner tubers last summer on a river in Alabama. When rescue crews are out flying drones, they're not just relying on simple cameras anymore. Now there are thermal imaging cameras which can see a person's outline. These work at night or whether someone's trapped in a building or maybe under the cover of a tree. And we can do during a search and rescue operation, we can see body, we can see body temperature. That is how they located this car crash victim who became unconscious after trying to walk for help. High winds and rain used to ground these guys, but technology made in part by DJI has improved in just the last year and a half. So if we zoom all the way out, it gives you an idea what, what has been happening with the zoom capability camera. Search and rescue operations rarely happen on a beautiful, no wind kind of day. So we had to design technology that can withstand the snow, the wind, the rain. These drones are not cheap, $25,000 to $30,000. But for a large agency or the U.S. military, that amount can be worth it. Drones don't just save victims' lives, they can also save rescuers' lives, too. I'm Jace Larson reporting.